Hello, I'm Alex Weathersby, and for today's editor profile, we will be looking at the work of Jay Cassidy, a U.S. editor known for his extensive work on documentary and feature films. Let's start by looking at a video of Cassidy discussing his use of discontinuity editing in the 2007 yes. film Into the Wild. Well, we developed the, a lot of fun got us to the point of, if it's not good, just cut it out, and it doesn't matter what the cut looks like, just, just get on with it, you know, just keep it moving. Often in editorial they say, take out the shoe leather. In this movie, the whole movie shoe leather. You know, so um, we, we kind of developed a, a kind of a distressed style of editing where you just, if it wasn't interesting, or you had to get from here to there, somehow you just do it with the scissors. And so when you got to this, it just became an extension of that. You know, it just, you, you, you know, you've left any other person behind, so you have to uh, absolutely be in his head. So any regard for space and time really doesn't have any, any bearing on it. So it This movie follows the story of real-life traveler Christopher McCantless, who in the 1990s rejected traditional society to live in the Alaskan wilderness. Cassidy was nominated for Best Editing at the 80th Academy Awards for this film and won Best Edited Feature Film in the Drama Category at the 2008 Best American Cinema Editors Awards. Into the Wild's director, Sean Penn, has utilized Cassidy's talents on all of his films. Cassidy has also worked with directors Charles Guggenheim on high schools, Davis Guggenheim on documentaries like Inconvenient Truth, for which he won the Eddie for Best Documentary Editing, and Waiting for Superman, and David Russell on Joy, American Hustle, and Silver Linings Playbook, for which he was nominated a second time in the Academy Awards Best Film Editing category. Now we will look at a scene from one of Cassidy's most famous films, Into the Wild. Pay attention to the discontinuity editing within the scene and the diversity in shot and angle changes. a general continuity in the shots in that there are many scenes that show Christopher completing several tasks such as beating the dust from his mattress or carving into a piece of wood. However, the use of jump cuts and frequent changes of both angles and shot types create a discontinuity within the scene. This indicates Christopher's inner sense of freedom from the restriction and predictability of normal life. His energy and vigor are also communicated through these choices. The editing simultaneously communicates to the audience what Christopher is experiencing throughout the scene and connects us to him emotionally. Three things that I learned from researching Jay Cassidy are as follows. Number one, use editing to show audience members what is in a character's head. 
Editing is another tool that can be used to effectively communicate the narrative and meaning of the film to the audience, so try styling your final cut to match the character's thought process. Number two, recognize your character as human and edit with this in mind. This is especially important in biographical and documentary films. Cassidy has noted that his greatest responsibility in cutting into the wild was to portray Chris with integrity. He achieves this partly by including McCandless's actual writings into scenes as written quotes. Number three, editing can change the entire look and feel of a final film. Into the Wild was shot in a linear fashion, and the original screenplay was also written this way. However, Cassidy and director Sean Penn knew the final structure of the film would be non-linear. Because of this, shifting from linear scenes to intercuts all happened in the editing room to completely change the style of the final film product. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about Jay Cassidy's work. This is the end of this editor profile.